Welcome to our mini class this week. Our theme this week is spring. <laughs> spring has sprung and it's a joyful, a joyful occasion. And uh, spring is all about planting seeds and watching them grow. All right, so whatever we plant in our lives is what is going to grow. And we're going to work today with the idea of expanding into spring and also sort of recognizing that contractiveness, that warmth that going inward that winter affords us so kind of coming out of our shells slowly and planting the seeds for what we want to sow this uh this year this spring so we're going to start lying down today so you can get yourselves comfortable you can lie down on your back have your knees bent, bring your feet to the floor and let your hands come to rest on your body where you can feel maybe a little bit of movement of your breath. Just start to tune into the rhythm and flow of your own unique breath. Feel how the inhale expands and opens. The exhale contracts and drops down. And start to let whatever came before this class fade a little bit more into the background as you bring your attention to this moment. And if focusing on the breath doesn't feel comfortable for you, you might just Focus on the sensations that you feel as you lie here or even the sounds that you can hear. So it's really just about gathering our attention into this moment as we begin. Most people really love the idea of spring and opening the windows and getting outside more and feeling the sunshine. But just like the breath, we need the winter to appreciate the spring. Right? So when we exhale, it's like this contracting, going inward, like hibernating in winter. And then the inhale is the expansiveness, the openness of spring or summer. So feeling those two energies present. A few more breaths here. And so today we'll work with this idea of contraction and expansion, moving from this contracted state of winter into a more expansive state towards summer or spring. So starting with the hands down by your sides. And we'll take a breath in and raise the arms overhead. You can bend your elbows. They don't have to come to the ground, just whatever works for you. And then back down to your side. So you might notice as you do this, that there is a, a little bit of expansion and extension of the spine as you, expansion of the chest and extension of the spine as you lift. And then coming back to neutral or contraction as you exhale. Inhale, lifting. And now as you exhale, we're gonna add, as you bring the arms down, pressing into the feet a little bit. So relax that pressure as you inhale and take the arms overhead. And then as the arms come down, gently press into your feet. So your body starts to rock, expanding and contracting with the breath. And there's something slightly different happens for you as you do this, just let that happen. So don't try to force anything that feels really unnatural to you. Great, letting the arms come down to your sides. You can pause there for a moment. And then we'll bring the feet so they're right underneath the hips, or sorry, right underneath the knees in line with the hips. 
And stretching one arm and one leg now, reaching out, feeling that expansion, reaching in two directions. And then exhale and bring it right in, squeezing in. So inhale, and again, coordinating breath is optional, but breathing should happen regardless. If you're coordinating, exhale as you bring in, squeezing in. Inhale as you extend out. Great. And then coming back to center, both arms, both feet on the ground. Pausing for a moment to notice what you feel on one side versus the other. There might be a difference, there might not. And then we'll work with the other side as well. So same thing here. Reaching out as you breathe in and drawing the knee in as you exhale. For a few breaths. And releasing. So again, let's line the feet up underneath the knees in line with the hips. Toes and heels roughly parallel to one another. Arms down at your sides. And we'll work with the bridge pose. So we'll be lifting the hips and lifting the arms at the same time. So remember, if it's more comfortable for you to come to a more open position with the arms um, out to the sides rather than overhead, if it's more comfortable to bend the arms or only go so far, um, please listen to your shoulders, especially here with that. So starting with the hands down at your sides, gently press into the feet and that just starts to tilt the pelvis up, lift the tailbone a little bit and support the lower back and then using a little engagement in the legs and the buttocks. We're gonna lift the hips as we take the arms up overhead. And then once we get to the top, we can pause for a brief moment and then lower back down. So if you're coordinating breath, you'll inhale as you lift. You can hold the breath for a split second as you pause. Exhale as you lower. And again, you can hold the breath for just a second after your exhale, just acknowledging and observing those pauses in the breath. So whenever you're ready, inhale, pause, exhale, and pause. And always remember, if it's not comfortable coordinating your breath, if you feel like you're straining or struggling or it's awkward, just breathe normally. Do the movement at a pace that's comfortable and let your breath be relaxed and easeful. All right, let's come down and pause for a moment. We're going to switch things up a bit and add a few more movements on. So if you want to watch the first time and then follow in, you can, or you can just follow. I'll try to make my instructions as clear as possible. So starting in the position with your arms down, feet on the floor, knees pointing at the ceiling, I'm gonna press into the feet and lift the hips, lift the arms, just as we were doing. So the first time I'll, I'll do the instructions without mentioning the breath, and then the next time I'll give you the cues for the breath. So from here, we're going to keep the arms overhead now you might need to shift them as you lower the hips because it puts a little more um, opening into the shoulders as the hips come down. So once the hips come down, we're gonna bring the knees into the chest and then stretch the legs to the ceiling, arms either to the sides or again overhead. And then we'll come back to our starting position. 
So breathing in, lifting the arms, lifting the hips, if you're coordinating breath, otherwise ignore the breath cues, keep the arms overhead and slowly lower the hips as you exhale. Stay here as you breathe in. And then as you exhale, engage your core, bring your lower back down, bring your knees in, bring your hands to your knees, give a little squeeze. And then as you inhale, legs lift, arms out to the sides or overhead. And then as you exhale, come back to your starting position. Take extra breaths as you need them. Inhale, lifting the arms, lifting the hips. Leaving the arms overhead, exhale and lower the hips. Stay there when you get there and inhale. Exhale, engage your core, knees come in, hands to knees, give a little squeeze. Arms and legs extend away from the body, breathing in and then exhale back to your starting position. We'll do that twice more. Inhale, expanding into the world, lifting up. Exhale, arms stay up. Exhaling, drop the hips. Lower them slowly down and then breathe in. Engage your core to protect your low back as you bring the knees in and squeeze with the hands. And then inhale, expand the arms and legs out. And then exhale back to where you began. Pause here for a breath and let everyone catch up who might uh, still be in the sequence. And then we'll go one more time. Just inhaling, you're lifting. Staying with the arms overhead, exhale, lower the hips. And then inhale in the stationary position. Exhale, engaging your core to bring your knees into your chest. Give a little squeeze at the end of your exhale and then inhale to expand. And exhale back to where you started. Great, so from here you can let the arms move a little bit away from your body so they're comfortable on the ground. And we'll just rock a little bit over the back of the sacrum. So you're just moving your knees a few inches one way, a few inches the other, and just releasing any tension around the sacrum, the back of the hips. Okay, and let's add a gentle twist. So letting the knees go one way, you can turn the head the other way if that's comfortable. And then bringing your knees back to center and knees and nose go opposite directions again. You can inhale if you're coordinating breath, inhale to the center, exhale to the side. Again, inhale to center, exhale to the side. Follow at your own pace. This is a kind of a churning, kind of a ringing out, spring cleaning for the organs, the abdominal organs. Also a twist for the spine. Okay, eventually coming back to the center. And once more, you'll bring your knees up in towards your chest, one hand on each knee, moving the knees away from you with the breath in, towards you as you exhale. So again, that idea of expansion as you breathe in, the knees move away, make space. Exhale, contracting, moving inward, going down and in. Summer, always followed by winter. Winter always followed by summer. You can add the little pauses in between the breaths if you like, signaling or signifying fall and spring. Those moments of transition. And you can hug your knees and rock or 
circle the knees or whatever might feel good to massage your back a little bit. And then with one hand on each knee, we'll move the knees apart, away from each other. Straighten the arms to move them away from your body, back in towards each other and then into the chest. So circling each hip, each leg independently. Greasing the joints. Right? We lubricate the joints through these nice, easeful range of motion movements that aren't forcing or straining the body. Just inviting movement, inviting synovial fluid into the joints through that movement. You can keep one knee in, extend the other leg, press down into the heel, toes point toward the ceiling. If it feels comfortable for you and you want a little more stretch, you can lift the leg toward the ceiling. It might be quite bent for you and you might prefer to just bend and straighten to ease into a deeper stretch. If you want to hold, you can stay there. And if you're a little more advanced, you might think about leveling the hips so the sit bone of the leg that's up in the air is reaching down toward the far end of your mat and the heels are pointing away from each other. And if you're feeling even more advanced today, you can raise your arms over your head and extend through all limbs. Right, and this might look more like this for you, and that is totally fine, right? So lots of options to find the position that feels gloriously expansive and wonderful to you, right? no matter where that might be. And then let's bring the upper leg down, bend the leg that's on the ground if you've straightened it, and we'll re release and reverse side. So other knee comes in, Optionally, stretching out the opposite leg. You can keep it bent if that's more comfortable. And then again, lots of options. If you want more stretch in this leg, maybe you're gonna bend and straighten it a few times. Maybe you're gonna keep it sort of at your comfortable edge of stretch. And that might look different for, it will look different for different people. You can keep your hands on the leg. You can let them rest on the ground or you can expand and extend through all limbs, feet flex. Fingers reaching out, breathing. All right, and then when you're ready, releasing, bringing the foot to the floor, other foot to the floor. Take a few breaths here and tune in. You might feel a little energy or tingling in your body after movement and breath. You might not, you'll just notice what's there, that maybe a little spring-like energy wanting to emerge. And then we're going to come to sit up. So you can roll first onto your side and think of this as sort of waking up from your winter hibernation. So you're really going slowly, rolling to your side, bringing one hand to the ground. Let your head stay relaxed, gently press yourself upright, slowly letting the head come up. And then finding a comfortable seated position. That might be, um, like for me, I've got this lovely meditation cushion. Um, you might want to sit on a blanket, folded or rolled up, or a block, or a firm cushion of some kind, or even on a chair, totally fine. And we'll do a little bit of uh, visualization here. So it really doesn't matter how you're sitting. You want to, the most important thing is that you're sitting evenly, right? So your two bones at the bottom of your pelvis, this, the sit bones that are called, um, or ischial tuberosities, if you um, want the technical terms, but those two bones that, that sort of form the, the base of the pelvis. And you want to feel that you're sitting evenly on those two points and that your pelvis is level. So your pelvis is shaped kind of like a bowl. And if your pelvis were filled with water, a bowl full with water, you wanna make sure you're not leaning or sort of slouching back and letting the water fall out the back of your bowl. And you're also not tipping forward and letting the water pour out the front of your bowl. So you wanna find levelness. If it helps, you can bring your hands to your hips. 
But the, the main thing here is, is that when you're sitting with your sit bones anchored, your pelvis is level, the spine comes into its natural curve. So if it feels uncomfortable sitting this way for you, find another way to sit. Get on a chair, stretch your legs out, get your bum a little higher. That always makes it easier to sit on the ground, like a, a taller cushion or a block. But you want to be comfortable. So this isn't about being, you know, in a lotus position and, um, and grinning and bearing it. So once you're comfortable, once your sit bones feel really solidly planted and even on both sides, we're going to visualize those sit bones, the way they connect to the earth. And imagine, if you can, if you will, roots going down from your sit bones into the earth. And this can be a very powerful grounding visualization. If you're someone who is unable to visualize, if you don't see pictures in your head, you might just bring your awareness to the heaviness of your sit bones, the weight on your sit bones, and feel a sense of being anchored into this moment, right now, right here. If you're able to visualize, imagine your sit bones growing roots that go into the earth, that spread out, create a network of support and rootedness. So when a plant starts to grow, it sends down roots first. We don't see anything above the ground for some time. And these roots are growing to support the growth of the plant. So really feel your roots go down, 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 right into the center of the earth and spread out to form this really supportive network. And then once you feel your roots established, then you can imagine your spine like the stalk of a plant growing up. Maybe your crown is like the crown of a flower reaching up towards the sun gaining nourishment from the sun, from the rain, and your roots gaining nourishment from the earth, minerals and moisture in the earth. And see if for a moment you might know or feel or imagine your connection to the entire natural world. You are earth, you are water, you're the fire of the sun and the wind that blows through and around you. Feel your connection below your roots into the earth, your connection above the sun shining down on your beautiful plant, nourishing it. Let's bring the hands together at the heart and we're going to connect from the heart to the heavens by lifting up and then connecting the heart and the heavens to the earth by circling the arms down toward the ground and back into the heart. So inhaling, lifting from the earth to the sky, exhaling from the sky to the earth earth to the sky and the sky to the earth and our beautiful human beingness creates this connection between the two. And then let's bring the hands back together at the heart drawing energy from our roots, drawing energy from our crowns, from our flowers, and feeling how all of nature is within us and we are within all of nature. Feel the seeds of your desire being sown into the earth of your tending watering those seeds to grow the life that you want to grow. Namaste.
have a beautiful day and a most joyous and happy beginning of spring.